let us talk about asteroids. So I got this article from space.com and they're talking about wanting to slice and dice asteroids. And I'm kind of with it. I'm kind of with it. Why? Because there could be an asteroid that could be heading straight towards Earth right now. Okay, that's a very frightening premise, but imagine if you will, it was, and it was traveling, it was so far out, we couldn't recognize it, couldn't see it, and it was traveling so fast that we couldn't actually detect it until it's within a certain range. Nightmare scenario, I'm talking the worst case scenario, it would be nine months that we would see it nine months in advance, be like, oh, snaps, that's heading right towards us. If that were to happen right now, we'd be screwed. Screwed. That's coming right at us. There's nothing we can do. We have nine months to get out there and try to change this trajectory or blow it up or something along those lines. I think that is one of the most important things we need to do when we get into space is to have some sort of system to handle that exact situation. Because guess what? Life on this planet has been eradicated because of that exact thing hey the truth of the matter is and i i, I actually hate that line because that's what politicians use but i'm going to use it because it actually works here the truth of this matter is an asteroid could come at any time and and hit this planet it has happened before it will happen again however many millions of years it might be a couple hundred years who knows it doesn't matter it could happen because it has happened, all right? There's been asteroids that have come close. There's an asteroid that is potentially coming close in the next uh, decade. Uh, I did a segment on it, I don't remember the name of it, but this kind of research, we kind of got to get behind. Researchers want to slice and dice deadly asteroids with rocket-powered bombs, new paper says. Can we save Earth by bombing space? Here's an illustration showing an asteroid being pulverized to pieces. A group of researchers want to save Earth from a potential asteroid apocalypse using a new planetary defense method called PI, short for pulverize it. It's, it's pretty good. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I kinda like it. Project Pi. The plan, detailed in a lengthy technical paper on the University of California, Santa Barbara Experimental Cosmology Group website and submitted to the Journal of Advances in Space Research aims to smash large, potentially life-threatening asteroids into hundreds of tiny pieces by launching an array of uh, pen penetrator rods into the asteroid's path. These rods, each measuring about 6 to 10 feet long, could contain explosives, potentially even nuclear ones, to blast an approaching asteroid into relatively harmless bits long before it reaches Earth's atmosphere, the researchers wrote. The research shower the resulting shower of the debris could still cause damage to structures and humans down below, the authors said, but this damage would be negligible compared to the impact of a large asteroid, like the sixty two foot wide meteor that exploded over uh Chel Chelyabinsk, Chelyabinsk uh, Russia in February in 2013 with roughly the strength of 30 Hiroshima, uh, Hiroshima bombs. The resulting shockwaves could have killed millions of people had the meteor exploded directly over a major city, but the blast occurred over a broad area outside the city of um, Chelyabinsk, resulting in damage and injuries but no fatalities. To use a, a cartoon analogy, the difference between one large asteroid and hundreds of smaller ones is akin to a 500 kilogram grand piano being dropped on your head at a height of one kilometer. Wow. Or 500 kilogram foam balls dropped on you from the same height. Study author Phillips Lubin and Alexander Cohen, both physicists at UCSB wrote in a recent editorial for Scientific American. And here is an image of these proposed rods. They would come out of the little pie rocket. You see the little pie on there? That's nice. Uh, so there's the rockets would release the, the bars. They would disperse and go in front of this thing. And it would basically just bombard into them and disperse. Hey, I like that they're actually working on a plan for this at all. NASA tracks the movement of more 
more than 8,000 near-Earth asteroids with diameters greater than 460 feet. However, at the Chelyabinsk incident showed smaller objects can still pack a huge punch. Part of the reason that the Chely Chelyabinsk meteor was so destructive is that astronomers didn't see it coming. The rock was significantly smaller than the asteroids that space agencies typically track, and it shot at Earth directly from the direction of the sun. One advantage of, Pi, of the Pi plan is that a rocket full of penetrator rods could theoretically be launched with extremely short notice, the researcher said, even mere minutes before an object reaches Earth's atmosphere. An impact the size of a 20 meter wide space rocket that broke up over Chelyabinsk, Russia, could be intercepted a mere 100 seconds prior to impact using a launcher similar to the type used in inter intercontinental ballistic missiles, the researchers wrote in Scientific America. Meanwhile, a rock the size of a 1,200 foot wide asteroid Apophis could be dealt with 10 days prior to striking Earth, the team said. Existing rocket technology like SpaceX's Falcon 9 launch vehicle could easily deploy the ex explosive rods into the region around such an asteroid. If those estimates are accurate, then the Pi method would be a considerably more flexible planet defense plan than NASA's current mission to alter the course of a near-Earth asteroid by smashing a rocket into it. That mission, known as the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, will launch in November. But nearly a year will pass before the test rocket reaches its target, the 525-foot-wide moon of the asteroid Di uh, Didymos. If successful, the rocket impact will slow the moon's orbit just enough for astronomers to determine whether asteroid redirection is even effective. But Pi would require extensive testing to prove viable, as well starting with ground-based testing on fake asteroids, then moving the real targets in space. At the moment, no such test has been planned. The method, method's success also hinges on scientists' ability to detect small near-Earth asteroids, like the Chelyabinsk impact, before they enter the atmosphere. This, too, is a work in progress. Without a suitable early warning system, Pi and other planetary defense method would off offer suboptimal protection. The authors conclude in their Scientific American piece, Pi is just one piece in this urgent puzzle. To properly protect Earth, we must fully open more eyes to the sky. I absolutely agree with that. You know, we don't even think about the fact that we have uh, a society and infrastructure built with satellites, internet, connectivity. We we are we even have humans. We've we've been occupying space for more than twenty years on the space station. If we broke up an asteroid, sure the atmosphere would probably burn up a lot of it, but it could hit and probably decimate a lot of our satellites that we have that we need to me to talk to you right now. I'm online. I'm using there's satellites that are bouncing my image around the globe right now. And it's pretty cool to think about. But if those satellites were to go away, you know, we're at least for a little while till it gets reset up. I don't know. I think it's uh it's very important that we get out there and and prep. I think being able to push anything out of orb, you know, it's kind of like um what is that X X Men First Class, or no the the next one where they rescue the dude? Is it Quicksilver where he moves the bullets out of the, out of the guy's way when they're about to you know hit him in the face and he just goes whoop and then the bullet hits the wall behind him? Uh, that's kind of what we need to do, pushing it out of the way. I think blowing it up is actually a terrible idea, but it's good to have a contingency plan if this could. Be deployed within a hundred seconds of saying oh there is an asteroid that we didn't see it's going to hit earth in two days it's too late to move it we can blow it up and at least let the atmosphere to handle most of it because our atmosphere is amazing it actually takes care of a lot when you see shooting stars that's actually what they are it's the atmosphere burning up bits of, of space debris albeit human or rock or whatever it is so it's, it's kind of cool to think about how amazing our planet is because it really is an amazing place.